What's up guys? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado and today I wanted to update on the progress um, of the fall oyster mushrooms that we had cloned back at the end of October. So I don't, I don't know if you guys remember but we made a video about our friend Blake from Michigan. He sent um, three different mushroom species and um, I cloned those mushrooms on water auger and MEA auger and I wanted to show the progress of those mushrooms. So we ended up discarding that enoki mushroom. Um, it didn't really have good growth and we were kind of questioning if it was an enoki mushroom or a brick cat mushroom and um, I didn't really have you know the time to investigate that any further but the two oyster mushrooms kind of um, took off and I don't have the elm oyster anymore. It got overgrown with trichoderma, but I wanted to show you guys how um, water auger prevailed in this whole process. So you can see here, this is the original water auger plate from the uh, clone that we received. If you remember the mushroom, was frozen at the time so I didn't have much hope but we plated it out on water auger and we also put it on MEA auger so this was the MEA plate and you can see very contaminated with trichoderma this is what happened to the elm oyster too so um, I kind of left that alone but I transferred the water auger which is the mycelium right here. So the principle with the water auger is that it doesn't have any nutrients that would promote other bacteria or mold um, to grow, but the reserves from the mushroom mycelium cause it to reach out and it produced just enough mycelium that we were able to transfer that onto MEA. So this is the updated culture after about um, 13 days on the plate and it is looking very healthy so shout out to Blake from Michigan I'm gonna fruit these out you can see it looks like there's a little yeast right there um, I'm gonna clean up this culture today I've got a bunch of plates ready to go and I'm really excited to fruit this guy out. I feel like it's gonna be able to handle the colder winter temperatures here in Colorado, and um, I'll keep you guys posted on how that fruits out. And um, we've also got our regular enoki, that, the white enokis that we're gonna be growing in the winter. And I've got a wild turkey tail strain from Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska. Um, so those are kind of some of my winter varieties. I've got some king oyster that I'm going to be doing too. Um, those really like the cool weather and they get really nice flushes, especially if it's in the 50s. So um, I'm going to be expanding these cultures today, but I thought I'd share with you guys this update. I, I was blown away when I looked at this plate um, a few weeks ago, almost two weeks ago, and it had some you know, nice mycelium that was popping out of that tissue. So, I'm still amazed at the power of fungi. But give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more content like this. Um, share our videos if you think anyone else will find them useful. And stay tuned for more Fungi Fridays. We're gonna do another one this Friday and I'm planning on doing a Fungi Friday on Christmas where I'm going to be giving away cultures for everyone who's watching. So stay tuned for more info on that. We're going to do some kind of a raffle or maybe like super chats or something. But um, I'm really excited to have this Fungi Friday starting to gain some momentum. And you guys are coming with really good questions. So um, stay tuned for that. Until next time, guys, much love.